SPIE presents the Advancing the Laser series, honoring 50 years of laser achievements. Fiber lasers start with fibers. And the very beginning part of the fiber laser business is actually the bulk gases. And here you see a 4,500 gallon tank, I'm sorry, pound tank of liquid uh, hydrogen. Uh, Al is doing a bleed for us here today as part of his routine maintenance in the facility. And as, as you can see, these come to us at very, very low temperature. Once the chemicals have made it through the pre-processing in our plant, they come into the MCVD lab area. Here we're by one of three production machines that's actually in process as we speak. These are hydrogen oxygen torches on a bed of lathes in front of a tube. This tube flows the gases through, and you're going to see it traverse here in a minute. It cools down automatically based on the computer behind me. You can pan over to here following a recipe that our experienced technicians use in order to make very, very repeatable fibers. Completely automated, recipe-driven controls. The lathe returns back, reinitiates its flame, and starts a optical, uh, a glass production phase here. Some of these fibers will take as long as a week to run on a lathe like this. You can see it starting to glow incandescent as it starts to deposit glass again on its next run. You can see the handle turning as the lathe already starts to march down and make another pass. Once the MCVD engineer or technician is satisfied that he's produced enough of the glass inside the tube, the tube is collapsed to make the core rod. A completed core rod. The start was a tube. You can see how it has collapsed down to an actual rod. This is the useful part that eventually becomes the core of the fiber. And if I show it to you in cross-polarized light, you'll actually see inside those layers that were produced. If you want to care to look down through that. The next step of this process is to take the core rod and assemble it into what's called a cladding tube. And that happens in the clean rooms. We're in an airlock right now. And then we're now going to move over into the actual overclaps machinery room. Here you have two overclaps machines where the core rod, which we saw before, gets installed inside the tube on a giant lathe here. I'm not going to open this door because obviously this is a very high heat process and you can see a large 50 millimeter tube with an enormous heat content being sweated down onto that core rod. Newfern has two of these giant over collapse machines. This is an environmentally controlled facility down to class 100 at the draw face. Uh, we operate two draw faces. What we have at the top of the tower is a preform in an electric furnace. The fiber is drawn off the bottom of that preform and passes down through various apparatus. And I want you to move fairly quickly here because this is proprietary. And the fiber is actually running as we speak. If you look below in this blue area, you can just see a hair-thin fiber come out of the bottom of that furnace. It goes underneath the capstan right here and up to Jean, and you can look at Jean here, and you'll see that right behind Jean, she is spooling up fiber. Here is a production spool of fiber set up on a proof test apparatus, and Jay here is demonstrating to us and is going to start the machine. What we do is we actually proof test every meter of fiber. It's just so that we know that we have a quality product. Also, if we made junk, we want to scrap it at this point. The machine will accelerate up to a very high velocity, and every single meter will have been tested. The test that you're actually following now is a bend radius test. 
And if you look to the left, the fiber actually, and I'm going to move in front of you, actually goes across through all of these spools at different angles in order to test each angle of the fiber for potential failure. The various optical test benches lined up here in a row test attributes from physical to the optical and geometry of the fibers. Of course, to go from fiber to fiber laser, you have to do a whole lot of other bits and pieces. Here you have an industrial fiber laser that's just entering into production. It's a prototype, it's open here, and our guys are going to yell at me for showing you what's inside. However, a fiber laser consists of some pump diodes. Here you see a number of them. A coil of fiber, or perhaps multiple coils of fiber. And some optical components and an output which you cannot see on this particular R&D module. What you see here are the very, very first kilowatt machines that we've ever shipped out. Uh, they were in uh, operation for more than a year and have just come back for retrofit. As you can tell, they're quite monstrous. We were very proud of them at the time. Uh, by the end of this year, each of these will fit into a child's lunchbox. The programs right now are driving this technology forward at an incredibly rapid pace. Newfern is a manufacturer of specialty fiber, and what makes us special is that we stock more than 300 standard products and have nearly a thousand custom fibers at our disposal for shipment at any given time.